Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got Galaxy 12, Smith Corona Galaxy 12 on the bench. It's got a few problems. I've taken care of a few of these things already, including this was bent down like that. The space bar here would stick when you first used it. It's now fixed. I repositioned the pads and cleaned them down here where they stick. Got the power spacer to start working, even though I don't trust it yet. It's getting more trustworthy. But the main, well, another problem it has, and I was a little stumped. I did do some investigating already, so the ribbon selector is jammed. Even though the ribbon lift is free, I mean, it's a little bit slow. So, I had, did take this apart already because I was investigating and I got the keyboard off here. Let's get this out of here just for fun of it. So, <laughs> yes, this is jammed up in stencil right now. So, I'm pretty familiar with this mechanism down here, which is right here. And so, it's in stencil, that little rod right there in the middle is in the stencil position and if you move this lever up here it actually will move into red and black like that there and that there but as soon as it, like it's in stencil or anything and you type a letter it moves and then it, it doesn't move back into position to be able to switch so this, I thought, should have a spring on it, and, you know, it should be up here. You know, when it gets done, it should be up there in rest position. So I, I haven't referenced another machine. I just got looking here and looking here, and it, it, there's no spring attachment anywhere down here. And then I just followed the linkage. You can follow this up. You can see that little silver part that moves with that and if you follow it up here somewhere you could see something else moving somewhere up here don't even see it now actually don't don't see it moving now but I did find it here somewhere moving well let me look again here I just got the camera in my face and I'm not really looking like I should be looking okay so there it goes see it's moving that piece right there it just wasn't moving it far enough so, the lights and my camera out of position here okay so it's up here there we go this piece here which is when the type bars push that to lift well guess what that's what's sticking it's uh I don't know I can't remember seeing this happen so this piece here is sticking right there that should be moving freely so I'm gonna start by flushing these pivots out right there there and over here with some lacquer thinner let's try this and see if this is the cure or if there's you know if it's if it doesn't cure it there's probably a bind here somehow some way or another Open it's just sticky part. Oh, look at that. It's starting to flick now. This little piece is supposed to flop. That's the uh, touch control, so it's supposed to flop until it's on tighter. The on heavier, see it tightens up when I move the lever up here. Okay, so that was it, it looks like. Um, let me put a little air through here to flush out the uh, lacquer center in the dirt. Now it's moving pretty free. I'm going to be flush this little pivot here too. 
I don't want anything sticking. And reflush these again too, just for a second round. Get a little bit in there. Okay, my aim's off. Okay. Let's blow this stuff off a little. Canned air is gone. It's not the efficient way to use air, but sometimes it's easier. Okay, well, I think this is going to work, actually. See that spring back? And this piece spring back when that springs back. So, I bet you this works now. Let's try it. Okay, so it's in stencil right now, it looks like. And, okay, no, it wasn't. That stencil right in the middle. Nothing. Black. Red. That was a sticky part. How do you like that? That's not that common for Smith Corona to have that sticky. Now this is sticking in here. Some of these type bars are sticking. Well, not too bad right there, but it's got to be cleaned. All right, so that's the video uh, today when this ribbon... And I've seen this a few times where it doesn't move and um, I guess that, you know, you have to look at the mechanism but uh, and then follow it like I did. Follow the uh, linkage. See where it goes. See what's happening. And it turned out to be sticky parts way up here. Not even close to that mechanism. It turned out to be up here. Pretty good repair. Um, like I said, usually those Smith Cronos don't stick like in that area. All right, now I can continue cleaning this up and it's a nice machine. It just needs to be a service that's really dirty everywhere and needed a couple direct repairs. All right, Phoenix typewriter, have a quartzy day.